Let's just say Miley was a little bit manipulative when it came to Liam. You've, You've reached, reached Exposing, Exposing SMG. SMG. I'm Angela. And I'm Alana. And we run a celebrity news blog where we uncover celebrity secrets and give you the inside scoop. Hey everyone and welcome back to Exposing SMG. In this video, we are going to be talking about a lot, so get ready. We're going to be talking about why Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth did not work out, which will further bring us to who Miley is as a person. I can say right off the bat that Miley and Liam could have worked out, but it was one of those situations where they just decided, nope. So I'm here to tell you exactly why. Miley and Liam didn't work out, and I'm also here to show you that Miley's mentality is actually a little bit dangerous for her at this point. Miley and Liam were everyone's favorite couple. They were everyone's goals, but they also broke up. They ended 2018 as a married couple. They had a very private ceremony in their home. <laughs> it was so cute. Anyway, as you guys can see, I'm still upset, but let's get to the real thing. So why did Miley and Liam break up? Basically, Liam was possessive and restrictive, and Miley has a very colorful personality. One example of Liam being possessive and restrictive was that he didn't want Miley in the limelight, being that type of lifestyle. So she led him to believe that they both wanted the same exact thing. He was kind of just like, he wanted her to step back from that type of lifestyle. And the thing about Miley is she didn't want to give up that type of lifestyle, which was the excessive partying and drugs lifestyle. My issue with that is that she told him she was ready to settle down would have him believing that she was ready to give it all up. For so long, drugs really did rule everything around Miley's life and, and the partying lifestyle. She didn't want to give it up. And I remember when her and Liam got back together in 2016, she told him this whole fable about how sober she is and how she's not interested in being the old Miley which is you know partying all the time and taping things on her chest and glitter and whatever and he actually did believe her and for a while they were working out because Miley decided to not be so much in the limelight kind of be restrictive and in a way that he liked he's a bit controlling because it's kind of like I love you, but I want you also to be the version I see in my head. And Liam, let me tell you something about Liam. <laughs> Liam wants to be like his brother Chris. He wants a family, he wants a wife, he wants that white picket fence house dream. And Miley just isn't interested in being a wife. And that was part of the reason why they broke up because Liam was like, all right, I love you, but I kind of want you to keep the crazy partying lifestyle back in 2013 2014 don't bring it with me here and for a while she was like yeah i'm over this and whatever i'm gonna cook and clean and feed the dogs but then miley kind of got bored of not living a chaotic life and as messed up as that sounds it's true miley released a song called slide away and the unreleased version shows that everything i'm saying is true she basically is like I don't want a wife and kids, I want my whiskey and pills. And I remember before that demo came out, that unreleased one, I wrote a post back on ExposingAssumption.com, I basically break down everything wrong with Miley. And I was like, you know, he wanted a family lifestyle, he wanted her to be a little bit more tamed, and for a while she thought she wanted that too, but habits are hard to break and she just went back to her old habits where she was partying a lot, drinking, and doing a bunch of drugs. I wouldn't say that's the main reason they broke up, but like, you don't marry somebody and then be confused when they want to have a family with you or like settle down. And Miley was not in the mood to settle down and it's a little annoying because there wasn't anything toxic in that relationship and not to the extent I've seen in other relationships so it's sad that they broke up just because they were different people and after 10 years of being together you would think you know what the other person wants so let's go back to their different personalities 
Um, a few examples of Liam being restrictive is kind of when they would go out and meet family, his family. I remember they used to look at like Miley and her colorful self and then they'd look at Liam and his very private, relaxed self and they would tell him like, oh, I don't, are you sure you want to be with her? Like, I don't think she's right for you. And I think after hearing that for so long, Liam started getting tired of like, you sure you want to be with Miley? So whenever they would go and visit his family, you know, he would just be like, can, hey, can when we meet family, can you just kind of chill? <laughs> I think he was a little embarrassed of Miley's antics. I clearly don't sit with Miley and joke around, but I think Miley's one of those people that she doesn't know when to kind of switch her personality. If you're meeting your boyfriend or girlfriend's family you shouldn't be the same exact way you are with your friends and this doesn't mean lie to them but it means that show them your most reserved best self and miley didn't understand she can leave her antics behind and the thing is she didn't miley has a huge issue with anyone trying to control her i don't like to blame her too much on it i just growing up in disney and having parents that didn't really care what you were doing at 14 it really does impact how you become as an adult and you can't really tell Miley no because she's never learned no you know when someone is over here like hey can you be a little less you she took that as an insult and to be honest I don't I get where they're both coming from but I also get more where Liam's coming from because they're a very reserved family so they were like I don't really think she's for you like so that's where the possessiveness and restrictiveness comes from Liam's side but let's not forget Miley's side her and her colorful personality um i can make a whole other video on that oh miley <laughs> miley can be a little controlling well, don't get me wrong she's very sweet but like let's just say miley was a little bit manipulative when it came to liam i remember this one story where <laughs> he the reason why liam didn't have as many roles as chris is because there would be moments in time where miley wouldn't want him to do any type of work because she wasn't interested in her career so suddenly she didn't want him interested in his with miley there can never be two i don't know if she can't handle a relationship and a career but sh there's always going to be a point in time where she's focusing more on one than the other and when she and liam were on like good terms newly married she wasn't really focused on her career there would be times where liam is kind of just like he he'll have movie roles that he just doesn't take because Miley's like, let's stay home. Like, I don't want to be home alone for another six months. To try to make it work, he would stay home. It was compromise, and I feel like Miley doesn't understand compromise. <laughs> That's kind of the reason why they wouldn't work out. There's so much examples. Basically, it would just be that their personalities clashed. Uh, the thing about Miley, though, that's a bit annoying is every year, Miley looks back at the past, criticizes herself and says that she's she's more herself now than ever and then the year changes the year goes on and then miley criticizes that same version <laughs> talks about how she's moving on and becoming a different person and it's just with miley i feel like there's a lot of court issues that are not being solved a lot of the times she'll blame it on something other than herself and i don't know if she's tried therapy she probably has but miley comes every era looking completely different <laughs> with a different mindset too that's the issue <laughs> that's the thing miley doesn't just come with a new look she comes with a whole new personality and a whole new mindset and i think that has to do with her having a very hard time trying to find herself and i have sources telling me that they think miley and liam are gonna get back together i don't it's their opinion but apparently that's on the table which i don't know if they ever will i feel like the second time they got back together that was them really giving it a try it was more like you know if we don't work out this time we can never work out and i think with both their personalities and mindsets constantly clashing it's a little hard for them to get back together because what's the difference none of them are rewiring their personalities <laughs> I've liked Miley since 2006. I love Miley actually and I just I, I can I can admit that she's a little messy and I feel like her relationship with Liam could have turned out so much better and I'm still mourning over that loss. That's basically a generalized description of Miley and Liam. You know, as time went on, they realized er well, we tried. If you guys want more, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.